Hello, Facebook land. Welcome to day six of 10 days of gratitude. Um, for the last couple of days, I've been posting a prompt on my Facebook page, helping people to focus in, of one area to be thankful for. Um, and I have also made a free journal that you can print out and write it out for yourself. And again, I'll put the link in the comments below. Um, and if you don't want to get the free journal, that's fine. You can just follow the prompts and write it out yourself. I find um, writing about it or thinking it through really helps just set in that thankfulness. Now, today's prompt is to choose one thing in the room that you're in to be thankful for. Now, I know that that may seem menial and small, um, but I'll let you know why it's an important thing to remember. So I'll tell you this story. A few years ago, I was sitting in my house and, you know, it was dirty and messy and I didn't feel like it was big enough and it was just kind of really driving me nuts and I was just complaining in my mind, right? I don't know if you guys do this, but in my mind, all these negative complainy thoughts are going through my head like, oh, the house layout doesn't make any sense and... Um, there's toys everywhere and I just can't get on top of this, that, and the other thing. And it was just really whiny. And God in his still and gentle way just came into that moment and was like, Anne, it's winter outside and you are in a warm house. If you go to your kitchen, you'll have clean water coming out of your taps. You have a bed upstairs. You have toys you don't know what to do with in your room. You have how many clothes? And in that moment, um, you know, God just opened my eyes to all the small things that we have around us that we can be thankful for. And sometimes when we're in a space where we feel like we have absolutely nothing to be thankful for, it's really good to remind ourselves that we can start with the really small things, right? So the socks on my feet, the sweater that I have on, the chair that I'm sitting on, whatever it is. And then once we're used to having thankfulness for those small things, then it's it'll be easier for us to then be thankful for the other bigger things. Um, so that's why I added this question today is because it's, actually important to think about the small things um, or the things we don't actually think as important to be thankful for those. So right now um, I'm in my bedroom sitting on my bed and that is something that I'm so thankful for. I am so thankful for the bed that we have. Um, we were gifted this amazing bed when we got married and it's the most comfortable bed I've ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> and we have had the privilege of being at some pretty fancy hotels and their beds don't beat ours. And um, my husband and I swear by it to the point where people, when people ask us for marriage advice, we're like, buy a good bed. <laughs> because um, sleep is really, really important. And I am the worst sleeper in the world. Um, I've never been a good sleeper. You can ask my mom. Um but just having that comfy bed with a really good pillow um, has helped me so much, even in those years with the babies and all this stuff. And so when I can have a really good rest, it helps me be a better wife, a better mom, and just more things. So um, I'm really just thankful for the bed that I have in this room. So in the comments below, let me know one thing in the room that you're in that you could be thankful for. I look forward to reading it. Okay. Bye.